Hey everybody, so today's video is going to have a voiceover on it. Um, today's video will be for the $300 haul that I had request on. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited. So the first product that I'm using is the Professional Pore Minimizer by Benefit. And that retailed for $30.00 at Sephora. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So right here I'm just opening it up taking it out of the box and I'm just trying to figure out how to use it because it is just so cute and this is why so I start reading the instructions on the back of it and it says that the product has a sponge so I take out the sponge which is really awesome. I did not know that. It was pretty cool. And then it has a little push button to release the product. So I just put a little bit. I put about two or three dabs. And I'm just going to put that in my T-zone area. Or not my whole T-zone, but just where my pores are. And push that in really good so that it could absorb all that product. To minimize my pores. So that was pretty awesome. I really liked the whole concept of that, which was really great. But after the fact, since I already have wore the makeup throughout the whole day, this recording is done later. Um, so I didn't care much for it. It didn't really work for me. It didn't minimize my pores that I the way I expected it to. So the next product I put on is the Smashbox Photo Finish foundation primer and I'm just going to put that all over my face and that retailed for $36 So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on and I believe throughout this whole part I'm explaining that primers can be different for everyone so it might work for me but it might not work for you and it might work for you and it might not work for me but as far as it goes the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer did work really well and it helped keep the oil um, less I guess because it is oil free. <clears throat> I'm so sorry I keep like making loud noises and this my throat is like real scratchy. So I'm just putting it everywhere and I even put it over the minimizer, the pore minimizer, just so that I could get a more mattified um, look with my foundation. And I'm just going to, I'm using my hands to apply it all over. I find that's the easiest way for me to apply the primer. So now the next product that I'm moving on to is my NARS foundation. And I got the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And it says to shake well. So 
I'm going to be doing that right now. And we got that in Punjab. And that retailed for $49. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box right now. I'll show you guys how it looks. So beautiful. <laughs> So here I am, I'm just going to shake it. So this part, I thought it was a twist off how much of a potato I am. The whole time it was just a pull off. Yeah, that face. <laughs> I also really love the fact that it has a pump, so that's really great. It takes a few pumps for me to finally get the product out onto my sponge. <laughs> So there, there it is. So the sponge I'm using is a real technique sponge. And since I'm just giving prices on everything, leave off the top of my head, those retail for about five bucks. So and you can find them at Walmart or Target. Or even at Ulta, because they carry drugstore. So I'm just applying that all over and right here I am putting the long wear um, hard candy setting spray all over my sponge just to get it a little more moist since I didn't put it in water before so here I'm putting it on on the other side with the sponge wet and the hardware long or long wear hard candy um, setting spray, I believe I purchased that at Walmart also, and that probably was like five or six bucks. The setting spray and the sponge are not a part of my haul. And I will say that the foundation wore so beautifully throughout the day. It didn't um, oxidize into like a darker color or anything. It wore perfectly for me. But the only thing that I probably have to say about it is that since it is a radiant long wear foundation, it does show a little dewy. If you're looking for that matte foundation, it's not as mattifying as you would might want it to be. But it did work, and it did look so beautiful throughout the whole entire day. Right there where I said shh. I said that to my husband because he didn't know I was recording. And my luck, I didn't even have the mic on, so it really didn't matter. <laughs> so now I'm done blending it out. And the color is a really good color. It looks so pretty. So now the next product that I'll be getting is the NARS concealer and I purchased that also at Sephora and that retailed for $30. Oh, and I got that in the color Canela. I don't know if you saw right there in the background in that corner. That was my mom. <laughs> she like she was sitting right there next to me and like she moved over and I guess you could see her. So right here I'm grabbing my motor brush. And the motor brush set I purchased at Walmart and that retailed for 
probably 16. And that product is also not a part of my um, haul. Only the product boxes are a part of my haul, but I was just telling y'all the prices of everything. So if y'all want to look for any of these items. And I will also put it down in the description box, um, the products that I did use. So I'm blending it out now with the larger motor brush. So now I'm going to go ahead and contour my face using the Fenty foundation stick, I mean foundation, the Fenty match stick, and that one is in the color Truffle, and I believe those retail for 24 also another product that is not a part of the haul. So I just put it along my nose and around my forehead and of course under my cheekbones so I didn't realize so after the fact but the contour was like way too much that I put on so it looked really heavy and I also didn't get to tell y'all the concealer wore beautifully throughout the day as well but I do think I put too much under my eyes because it is really thick so I try to use a little less than I did I'm just softening up the look with whatever was left on the foundation from the foundation on my sponge since I did put so much contour on and I'm just blending that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the next product which is the Laura Mercier translucent powder and that retail that retails for $38. And I purchased that also at Sephora.
So here I just put some on the sponge and I'm just pushing the product into my face. Especially where my pores are and where my oily spots are on my face. So that it stays more matte throughout the day. I did also want to mention that I didn't put enough on my nose. So I did notice that it was getting a little oily there in my T-zone on my nose, but everywhere else looked really good throughout the rest of the day. So now to put this product a little more to the test, I also do bake with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of it on the contour, just to soften up any lines or anything like that. And along my che uh, along my jawline, and I'm gonna put some under my eyes to set my eyes, and some on my on my forehead as well. Like I said, I should have put some more on my nose. I went cross-eyed on that part, which I thought was pretty funny. So I also went off camera and I did my eyebrows real quick. So my eyebrows are done now. I'm just dusting off whatever is left from the translucent powder after baking. So I did notice that I was missing a little bit of foundation there. So I just some of whatever was left on my sponge on that part of my face or my cupid's bow. So, uh, the rest of the products that I purchased, well, not the rest of them, but whatever I'm going to name right here, which is the NYX um, glitter primer. That I purchased at Target and that retailed for $6.49, but I'm not going to be using that. That was the only product I did not use that I just, that I purchased for the haul. Um, because I was putting on a lot of other glittery products, so I also show here that I purchased the Stila kit, the Stila glitter kit, and that purchased that retailed for twenty five at Sephora. So, I'll, I'm also explaining that Sephora is taking Stila out of their uh, stores. So, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to still find it like at Ulta or online, but Stila is removing it, is being removed from Sephora stores. I'm not too sure why, but I just know that they're removing it. So, here I'm explaining that I also purchased the Carly Bible palette, and I purchased that for, let me see, $22.50. So the only thing that I didn't care much for was that there was no names for any of the colors or highlights, but I did love, love the pigment on it and the fact that it has a mirror also. It has six highlights I believe and 21 foundations I mean foundations eyeshadows so I'm just gonna put some highlight all over my nose along my nose and on the high part of my cheekbones and the arches or the heart my brow bone and it is just so beautiful the pigment is beautiful on this palette
I don't know why I made that crazy face. I forgot. <laughs> but I'm watching it now and it's just like, why? So yeah, I was super excited about the highlight. It was really, really beautiful. And it wore beautifully too. So now I'm just going to do my eyeshadow right here. That color I'm going to use as my base. Or my transition color. So now I'm just going to get a color and I'm going to put that in the crease, in my crease and I'm just going to start from the outer part of my eye and go in. So now I'm going to get this pinky color and this brown and I'm just going to put that, they were shimmers so I'm just putting that in my corners of my eyes. just to brighten up the look but I do love that palette it worked really beautifully and I'm gonna also try it again for another look for you all so the next product that I'm putting on is the Stila liquid eyeshadow in the color smoldering satin So this I'm just putting all over the eyelid. I didn't realize till after I did my makeup that I should have probably done my eyeliner before doing the uh, the Stila liquid eyeshadow because it was a little harder to try to run my eyeliner over the glitter. So I'm just patting it down all over my lid with my pinky. So it looked really great. Now I'm just going to put on some eyeliner.
And the last product I'm going to put on to finish off my look is going to be this glitter eyeliner in Yes Way Rose. And that retailed for $20. I also purchased that at Ulta. So I'm going to just put that right over the black eyeliner uh, in the corner. And I'm going to put it under my waterline at the bottom. But before the video ends, I just wanted to let y'all know that um, my mic was off when I did the, the video. So that's why I did a voiceover. And everything... Uh, came out to 300 so my makeup that I purchased it came out to 270 in makeup and the rest of it I used to purchase ears because y'all know that I wear ears for my videos so I purchased more headbands and I'm not going to show those in the video y'all will just have to see them in the future videos that I record so I purchased Claire's and Right now is a buy three, get three free, so I bought some pretty ones for y'all to check out. Also, another thing about the eyeliner, the glitter Too Faced eyeliner, I didn't care much for that product either because it, it crumbled up and fell off my face throughout the day. And I wore my makeup, this full face, for about nine hours, maybe a little bit longer, and it was for my husband's birthday so I went out like this but the eyeliner like it just I guess because our natural wrinkles in our face it wrinkled it it just balled up into a little ball and it just like fell off and it peeled off onto my face off my face because it was a peel off eyeliner so I didn't really care much for that so but the color of it was really pretty it was very pigmented so this is my finished look camera to do my lipstick. I use the Ulta lipstick. I don't remember the color. So I'm explaining about my ears right here. I just want y'all to don't forget to check me out on all the rest of my social media like my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I will be making a Snapchat soon. And right here I'm explaining I'm going to put the subscribe button in one of these corners so please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave a comment. And I'm just so happy y'all came to check out this video. I'm so sorry about the voice recording. It's making me crazy and making you guys crazy. But leave a thumbs up. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Mwah.